What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. It's been about a month since I uploaded a video, so I'm going to go ahead and get started start back into rolling into videos. I had a newborn, so she's seven days old. So I've been trying to spend time as much with my wife as possible and with my newborn. And I have 18 month old, so kind of taking up my time. I haven't been able to do any video recording or get anything done. But I did buy me a tool that I need to learn how to use, and that is a TIG welder. And I bought a Yes Welder TIG 205DS is what I bought. It's a stick and a TIG put together. So we're gonna get it out put it together and start some TIG welding. So please, please be nice in the comments. My TIG welding is probably gonna be pretty ugly for a little while, but practice makes perfect, so let's get started. So here it is. Like I said it's a Yes Welder TIG 205DS, 110 and a 220 outlet. So it does have an adapter plug so you can run on 220. Um, it has amperage adjustment, all TIG, um, stick weld, all hookups and things like that. Uh, this is a just a little cheap, I think it's like a $50 cart from welding cart from Harbor Freight. I did buy a small bottle. I did not buy a big bottle. Big bottle, uh, they want to rent money. If you know anything about bottles, they, they rent you a big bottle, but they actually sell you a small bottle. So I, I just went ahead and bought a small bottle. I'm not going to be a pro level with this anyways. Um, I'm not going to be doing a bunch of work. Um, I do plan on welding up the hot side for the uh, RX-7 for a single turbo, because that's the plan to have it single turbo next year. And then that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to get started welding a couple pieces of metal together and see what it looks like.
All right, so uh, as you can tell, I just took two lawnmower blades, lawnmower blades my dad had laying around in the house that were no good, cleaning them up so I could weld on them. And as you can tell, took a couple, few passes just for practice because, like I said, I'm not perfection. Um, and well, that's what I ended up with. It's welded together, so uh, like I said, I just need a little bit more practice to make it look a little better. So I'm gonna keep on practicing and see where it takes us. Like I said, I'm learning. Yeah, it's ugly. I don't care. The pipe's holding together. Uh, I'm going to keep on practicing before I start on the turbo stuff for the RX-7 and try to get better at it and do a little bit more research. Maybe talk with a couple of friends. Maybe they can give me a couple of pointers. Even maybe come over and show me what they can accomplish because I've got a couple of friends that build a lot of one-off single turbo stuff. So maybe they'll come over and help or I may be able to go to them and see what they do. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you like what you see and please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And we'll catch you next time.